mama. Hey mama. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I am doing my first ever clean with me video. I actually filmed this last night, um, Sunday night, getting ready for the week, and I thought I would just set you guys up so you could see kind of what I do to clean up for the coming week. I basically start with the kids' rooms because like I said, I'm going to be cleaning at night and it's gonna be after they get in bed. Um, so I wanna make sure I do both of their rooms so they can have a nice clean slate in the morning. They do a pretty decent job keeping their rooms clean. I am on top of them all the time because it's just my thing. I'm starting off in Savannah's room and actually today is not that bad. She normally has clothes thrown everywhere because she likes to pick out her own clothes and she does. Um, and she then she hides stuff in the corners and stuff so we're working on some things you guys as you can see she likes to stuff things in the corners so we're going to address this I try my best not to pick this up if things are a wreck like a complete mess then I help out a little bit so they don't get so tired um, while they're trying to clean some things up but her room is kind of minimally messy and so I definitely make sure that I pull her in here and have her clean these things up and let her know why you know we don't do this okay <laughs> I feel like these are really the best times for training them up with good habits they're already so eager to help and I feel like it's so easy for us to miss that opportunity because a lot of times we feel like we are way too tired to just let them help and I am really trying to work on that Okay, then I move on to the boys' room. Um, they do a pretty decent job keeping their stuff together as well, but they like to like shove stuff underneath their table and underneath their bed and in the corner of their closet. So we're currently working on those things. It's actually looking pretty clean and clear right now. So, <laughs> so that means that the training that we're doing is working. I'm gonna do more cleaning videos so you guys can see what it's like when it's really a wreck and out of control but I've been trying to do a really good job staying on top of everything so that things are not all messy and out of place. Now on to the bathroom. I'm pretty excited about doing these cleaning videos. I think it's like the perfect opportunity for me to just kind of slow things down and just choose to be grateful for the things that I have and just really be a good steward over um, what I have right now. We live in a world where um, consumerism is a whole thing and everywhere you turn there's something new um, to buy and something more that you want to have and I just want to practice being grateful for what I currently have um, and just enjoying it as much as possible. So um, cleaning can be so monotonous and so repetitive and so frustrating sometimes as a mom because you do it all day long all night long only for it to be messed up all over again but I'm trying to see things differently I'm trying to change my perspective and just look at it as an opportunity to learn and to grow and to strengthen my heart of gratitude so I'm really looking forward to these cleaning videos um, before I would look all around my house and see all the things that I wanted to change right away and um, the things that weren't enough and when you step back and really look at things I really am able to see you know everything that I really do have and everything that I should be grateful for and it's great to have dreams of growing and having new things but it's not okay to not enjoy the journey and the process because you're always looking for more and better and never being satisfied or content with where you are right now so I feel like it steals your happiness and I'm not here for it what I am here for is for my kids to see their mom happy and enjoying life and grateful 
and just really enjoying spending time with them and teaching and learning and growing together. That's what I am here for. So anything that gets in the way of me accomplishing that dream or getting closer to that dream, I just need to remove. So I am just going to choose to be happy about cleaning every single day and every single night and just be grateful that I have the time to be able to clean my home and to just create an environment of peace and joy and love within the walls of our home. I hope you don't mind my chit chattiness. I just thought to myself when I make these cleaning videos, what can I add that is different and true to who I am and what I want to share. I am not the most, I am not the expert cleaner. I don't know the right things to use or the right ways to do things. I don't plan on having a completely solid routine, but what I do plan on doing is showing up showing up and just enjoying every bit of my day and every part of my life that is my goal that is my dream and I just feel like it's so much easier to do when we share with one another and we know that we're in this together so yeah I hope you don't mind my chit chattiness Okay, now who wants to give me the praise hands for cleaning off the kitchen counters? That's probably one of my most favorite things to clean is the kitchen counters. It's just that you know that you've gotten to the end of cleaning the kitchen and all things are good in the world. So, yes, yay for cleaning the kitchen counters. Okay, so once the kitchen is all taken care of, this pretty much means that I'm getting ready to move on to my favorite part to clean, which is our schoolroom slash classroom slash playroom. Yes, it is my absolute favorite. It lets me know that I'm almost done with my cleaning and it just gets me really excited about school in the morning. So yeah, it's my favorite. So the kids are responsible for making sure the classroom slash playroom slash schoolroom is clean before they go to bed. But then I come in and just move things around and put things back into certain places if I'm being really extra particular that night. Also, the things that I'm cleaning off the table were kind of my mess. So whenever I'm doing some of my art projects and things, either I do them outside in the studio space or I do them inside of the classroom slash schoolroom slash playroom. So yeah, most of this was my mess. Yes.
Okay, so by this time, I've spent hours planning for the school week and hours cleaning up for the school week, and I am getting super exhausted and frustrated and tired all in one. And it was perfect timing because Brian came over and made me give him a nice big hug and whispered some nice things to me, letting me know that I was doing a good job and to enjoy it. And it was just what I needed to hear. So yay for marriage and yay for a clean home and a fresh start for the new week. We are going to be nice and ready for whatever comes our way, whether it be good or bad, we're going to choose joy, choose peace, all that good stuff, and I have a nice clean slate to do it in. So we're off to a good start. Okay, so cleaning has been so much fun for me lately. I definitely have been on a cleaning kick. I am a clean, neat, tidy person. Um, and normally my cleaning routine is pretty sacred to me. I do things a little strange and out of order. So cleaning videos just kind of weren't on my radar because I feel like you need to do things in some type of you know, decent order in order to share them. So that was a little bit of a challenge for me, um, trying to do them um, in order, trying to go room by room and get it done without looking like a total weirdo. Um, but I got some new cleaning supplies. So I'm gonna show you a little mini cleaning haul. I'm really excited about it. I normally clean with basic things, Windex, um, pine soil, um, that type of thing. But I'm really trying to move towards um, a cleaner, uh, cleaner cleaning products. That sounded strange, didn't it? Cleaner cleaning products. Um, we are a heavy essential oil family and I would love to start um, making our own essential oil products um, to, I don't know, it's just better for the kids to use those cleaning products and for us to use and for us to use those in our homes anyway so I'm kind of on that journey but in the meantime I just wanted to be able to pick up a few things that um, were a bit more non-toxic and something that I could just have a little bit more fun with so basically this is like a mini method haul <laughs> I love their packaging I know that sounds really basic but I do I love their packaging and I, it was just time for something a little different to my surprise I absolutely love using them anyway let me show you what I got I think I had two things that weren't really method brand but this one is Mrs. Myers um, I got this Mrs. Myers hand soap apple cider scent now i must say i don't normally use a lot of heavily scented things um i had really bad asthma and eczema when i was a child and so i did not wear things with fragrance um no perfume things like that when i had my boys um they had pretty bad eczema as well so i stayed away from all things scented um all perfumes and things like that now that they're older and they've grown out of so much of that um, I'm able to start incorporating more things with smells and it's not bothering them it's not bothering their skin and things like that so I picked up this hand soap they wanted to try the apple cider scent I thought it was really strong and it is um, it's a really really strong scent but I have been putting it in our bathroom and it actually has been working out perfectly because it is such a strong scent I can tell when they've washed their hands so when they come waltzing out of the bathroom I know for sure whether or not they have washed their hands because I can smell it all over their hands and so they've been enjoying using this Mrs. Myers clean day apple cider hand soap and I just leave that in the bathroom I tried out their dish soap their method dish soap and this one is the lime and sea salt I really like this soap a lot um i didn't think i was going to because i didn't think i was going to be into like my cleaning like my dishes smelling like something i realized i actually did like it so this is the lime and sea salt i like it the only thing is that i feel like it dispenses a little bit too much so i find that it is it's going away quicker um but i really really like it so that is the lime and sea salt the next thing I got, I actually really enjoy. This is the Method All Purpose Surface Cleaner, and this is in the Honeycrisp 
apple. Now this is my second go around as well. I had, the other one was the lime and sea salt scent, I think it was, and I really enjoyed that. This time around I tried the honey crisp apple and I actually really, really like it. <laughs> <laughs> and of course it's fall so it's perfect I really like it so um, the only thing I do not like this for is I do not like this for cleaning my mirrors it does leave streaks which I do not appreciate but for all other surfaces I still enjoy using this two were for the bathroom um, this is the method daily shower cleaner eucalyptus mint so far so good um, it's not like an awesome cleaner if your um if your bathroom is super dirty which is why it's a daily shower cleaner but um i just spray it down after i finish showering and it's been doing a really good job and i like the smell foaming bathroom cleaner so i tried this the other day I like it, but again, your bathroom can't, you can't let it get out of control. It's not gonna work as well as some good old bleach. So, <laughs> so um, I am going to keep it up. I think if I'm doing more frequent cleans, then I'm fine with using this, but it's not like my all time favorite, but I love the smell and I think it does a great job as long as you're keeping up with your cleaning. So I used it and sprayed it on my mirror in my bathroom and it worked so well. And then the last thing I got was this Method Wood for Good Daily Clean. I like this <laughs> and I like the way it smells. Um, I really enjoyed the way Pledge smells a little bit but I like that this is lighter um, and it has like a cherry almond type of scent to it so it's really nice I mean I wouldn't say that it's as great as pledge with getting that like nice thick shine or anything but um, I don't mind it it's good so far so good so yeah that is what I got and this was my first ever clean with me I hope you guys enjoyed this video y'all I was so tired after I finished cleaning up but I knew that I wanted to just try to discipline myself to get my cleaning done um, at one time I'm really trying to work on not spacing out all my cleaning throughout the day I, and I might have had a mini panic attack leaving things until the end of the night in order to clean them up because I am a, an all day cleaner. Now I still cleaned um, a decent amount throughout the day but definitely not as much as I normally do and to be honest with you just cleaning as much as I normally do throughout the day really takes away from me being able to enjoy our homeschool days um, because I'm just always picking stuff up and cleaning stuff up throughout the day and I just felt like it was counterproductive. So I think that doing these clean with me videos and just kind of disciplining myself to get, you know, my cleaning done at a specific time at the end of the night and before the kids go to bed they did a really great job getting their rooms clean um before bedtime and they really enjoyed it so i'm just going to keep that up and see how it goes let me know if you like this video i really enjoyed making it and i think this will this is the start of something great for me <laughs> because there is nothing there's absolutely nothing like waking up in the morning to a freshly clean home and i don't know it just felt so good it always feels so good um and it's not always that way um normally if i wake up I see things that need to be done. I just try my best to ignore them throughout the day until my school day is over and I can get to them or till I have those pockets of cleaning time. But there is just nothing like waking up to a freshly, you know, spick and span home just ready for you to kind of start the day so um the only thing i did not do was fold the clothes so now they are currently in the corner in the little basket waiting for me to fold them um but baby steps right i also didn't clean my room you didn't see my room <laughs> it wasn't horrible but you didn't see my room okay talk to me in the comments below i want to know what is your favorite cleaning product that's what i want to know Maybe, and what is your favorite thing to clean? I absolutely love having a clean kitchen and I love cleaning my, um, my school room. So, <laughs> so what, so right now, I think that all purpose Honeycrisp Apple Cleaner 
is my favorite right now. Um, so what is your favorite room to clean or favorite thing to clean in your house? And what is your hands down favorite cleaning product? I would love to know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video.